What's up guys, X Reaver X. Today I'm gonna show you a super fast farming strat right here in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. So first things first is you wanna grab the Outlast contract. The Outlast contract here at the church is actually a very great contract because it has the ammo cache right outside the door here as you see. And that is going to be perfect for anyone that is grinding out their Borellis camo that needs the 10 tactical kills. You can come out, grab ammo from this uh, ammo cache and you can do that, rinse and repeat it every one minute, which is super great for those tactical kills. But anyways, we're going to utilize this glitch. We're going to activate the PMD. And big shout out to my brother Blake, as he's the first one to find out about this glitch, as far as we are aware. So big shout out to Blake. I will drop this channel down in the description for you guys. It's Pop the Colonel, if you want to go give him a sub on YouTube. Or drop him a follow over on Twitch, it's the same thing. Big shout out to you, Blake. So anyways, what we're going to do is we are going to grind this up between 95 and 99%. And once we get between 95 and 99% on the analysis progress there, we want to go ahead and cancel the contract. Now you can do this in a squad. If you are playing squads, make sure everybody in your squad cancels it before it completes 100%. And so as long as everyone cancels it, the glitch will work. You'll have an infinite number of zombies spawning here. The contract will be canceled. So if you are in a squad, your squad can go do other contracts. You could theoretically have all three of you guys doing an outlast contract all at the same time, as long as you guys all cancel it within the required amount of time. So you'll see what I'm talking about here. Once we get to around 95 to 99%, we're gonna cancel this. We're gonna get our infinite number of zombies. And this is actually what I recommend on grinding a majority of your camos as this is super easy. All right, so we're at 96, 98, 99. Go ahead and cancel it. All right, now as you see, we're going to have an infinite number of zombies spawning here. This is also super great for the dogs as you're going to get, again, infinite number of zombies. The dogs spawn here like crazy. And as well as all the zombies. If you're in a tier 2 location, you'll get a whole bunch of the um, higher like uh, zombies. You'll get a whole bunch of the special zombies spawning in. So that's super good for the tier 2. So tier 1 is going to be the most laid back type of way to do this. Tier 2 is going to be the one you want to go for if you're grinding out disciples, manglers, and mimics. Definitely don't really recommend tier three. I don't really see a point in doing the tier three. As you can get all your special zombies in tier two. And then tier one, you can get your dog kills as well as just all the number of zombie kills that you need. It's also a great way to get your kills uh, in a row without getting hit if you find a nice little spot to sit up. Again, you know the dogs do mess you up on that so you gotta constantly kind of move in or find a little ledge you can get up on. Now there are some caveats with this though. So you are allowed to leave the premise by a little bit to go grab the ammo, like I said. So like the ammo is right outside here, so this won't really affect the glitch because it's so close. But if you're leaving the premise and go too far, this will cancel the glitch out, as well as if you go down. So those are the only two caveats with this glitch. And I'll go ahead and show you how we can go ahead and throw our decoys and then go restack them. Let me see I just do my decoy. You come right out here. Like I said, this is going to recharge every one minute. So you can constantly rinse and repeat to get all those 100 tactical kills that you need. I would recommend loading in with two weapons that you know you need tactical kills with. And then going and doing this. Uh, that will be the most effective way to farm. And uh, in the most effective way of managing your time when farming. Right? But I'll go ahead and drop some other clips here in the video to show you guys some of the other locations just so you get an idea of how this is working. This is probably the easiest spot to do. You just come right up here. Alright, that one is done. Let me switch to the next weapon.
Yes, bang bang baby. Yes. Hey, there's that one too. Yes. And as you see, guys, that is all there is to doing this Outlast glitch after the patch. I hope this video was helpful. Please consider leaving a like and a sub and stick around as I am going to be coming out with a Borealis grind uh, complete, like, noob edition on how to unlock the Borealis mastery camo right here in Zombies. And I'm looking forward to making that video for you all. So do stay tuned for that. And we will catch you on the flip side. As always, peace and prosper. Much love. We'll be seeing you on the next one. Late.